This 4-4 page was designed using 4 different design tools in less than 10 minutes. If you tried AI tools in the past and felt frustrated because you could not get production grade quality out of them, it's likely because you weren't using enough AI. Over this past year, I've tried many different AI tools and none of them were perfect. But if you know their strengths and weaknesses, you can mix them up and incorporate them into your workflow to get astonishing results. So let's dive in and see which ones I use. And hey, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more tips, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Starting with mid-journey, we're going to generate a coral. Here we're looking for the shape and a little bit of the colors. Don't be too picky, there will be more AI tools that will change the image anyway, so just accept that it's kind of hit or miss. Just try more if you're not satisfied. For better results, I always recommend you to use image reference. An image reference gives very good guidance to Midjourney, which can help you to precisely control the angle, background color or shape. Basically, find one you like on Google, Midjourney or Pinterest and use it as a starting point. Then we go to Photoshop. We're going to need background removal tool and the selection tool. So we can slice the colors the way we want to achieve the desired shape and size. It doesn't need to be perfect. All issues will be fixed in the next stages. Now probably something new to you. Recraft. It's a service for AI image generation. But we won't generate image here. We will use the Creative Upscaler. It does a great job of making the image crisp. Just look at the result we've got here. The saturation, edge blurs, details. It's just amazing. And in the next step, let's open Figma and prepare a few images that we will use in Adobe Firefly. One image with the text 404 and another one with our coral. Just make sure they are in the same aspect radio. So that's all what we need from Figma here. In Adobe Firefly, we will use text to image generation. Use a simple prompt, then add this image with 404 text as a composition reference and the image of the coral as a style reference. And if you're lucky, you might get great options within a few tries. And see, we're getting there. Opening Recraft for the last time and upscaling the image, it takes a few seconds before it's done. Saving it and bringing it to Photoshop to remove the background. This image actually requires a little bit of extra work. So, okay, we're good. Uh, moving it to Figma for the final touches. And here is a very important step, post-processing. It's exactly where you make it special. There are many designers who just copy something from Midjourney and use it straight in their designs but you immediately sense that it's a cheap work. You can easily fix it, just add supportive elements, lines, rectangles, patterns, whatever. Relight or recolor the image. These changes will help you blend the image with your design much better, and it will feel more natural, like it's in the right place. So that's it. Look what we've got. I think it's amazing result especially considering the amount of time it took and a little bit of creativity and a mix of different AI tools and we've got this impressive 404 page for our client. AI has not replaced the designers yet, but if you know which tools to use and how to use them, it can allow you to create something beautiful that would not have been possible before. Thank you for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you.